Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world. This is Matt Trujillo of Mr. Matt Music Melody. And today we have for review a Kodak Pix Pro FZ152 digital camera. They got it on rollback over at Walmart here in town for about $99. It's about a medium range camera. This camera costs about, what, 100 bucks? You get it? Plus tax? But it's got pretty good features for uh, about a middle grade camera. You get 15 optical zoom so you can enlarge the pictures up to 15 times. You get 24 millimeters of a wide angle. 16 megapixels if your pixels matter to you then you get a higher quality because you got obviously more pixels to the punch right there. It's got a 3 inch LCD screen optical imaging stabilization so if you got a real shaky hand and you're trying to take a picture with the camera it doesn't seem to capture too much of that but we'll check that out and see how that actually works when we get to opening up the box here and it got continuous shooting for those of you that just like to just uh, zoom away and shoot all you want there you go you get all the pics you want out of it high definition video now from what i understand and the reviews that i've done and the studying that i've done and checking th this thing out and my little studies of it that high definition video right there goes up to 720p and it's good quality for youtube i guess it's 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 suitable for all you youtubers that want to go out there and shoot some videos and uh Make your own little movies and things like that of your own things happening here in life. Let's see what else the box has to say. It's got HDR, high dynamic range, okay? That sounds like that's a pretty good feature. And the box looks like it's a pretty pretty box here. It's a black camera. And there's uh, the other stuff that we were just talking about. So I guess here it is. Let's dive right into it. Attention customers, SD card is not included with this camera and must be purchased separately. Class 4 or higher SD cards are required. Micro SD cards are not compatible. And there you have it. That's the inside scoop as to what you need for this camera. If you decide you want to get some kind of camera, get yourself some picture taken of all your little adventures and your days off from work. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the great unveiling. Let's see what we got. Bam, there it is. Got paperwork for starters. Let's see what all that's all about. Okay. Does anybody really read this stuff anyways? Oh, there's a warning. Okay, that, that's just basic stuff. Don't return it back to the store. Return it back to the manufacturer. There's your warranty card, which goes back to that. If you have problems with it, you can return it to the manufacturer. Be sure to save a copy of your receipt. Here's all the paperwork to it. Let's see. Um, you got just a basic quick start guide to this camera on how to get started within minutes of reading this and taking good quality photos. So what you got. The instruction manual here says, let's see, now it's probably going to be a lot to go through. I can't get too good of an image here. Let's see, let's take some picture looks real quick. Oh, okay, just the basic startups is all that is. Great, we got that, we'll zip past that. See what else we got here in the box. Bam. Do not return camera to the store where purchased. I think they made that pretty clear already. So they just want you to know that they don't want it going back to Walmart. Okay, so bam, here it is. The great unveiling. Let's see what we got. There's the camera. This looks to me, let's take it out. Now that's your charging system. You're going to get that. It looks like your USB charger. Okay, we'll figure out how all that works. Let's go ahead and take everything out. There's your battery. This thing charges off a of battery, so you don't have to go buying batteries for it. You just charge this lithium-ion battery, and I guess you're good to go until the battery finally gives, and then you have to replace it. It's got a little cord here that attaches to the, to the um, camera itself. That way you can wrap it around your hand, and you can carry it wherever you need to go. Bam. Okay, let's get let's fast get through this stuff here. Here's the charging cord. Get that open for y'all and viewing enjoyment right there. Bam. So you can connect it to your computer if you need to, to download some pictures. Or you want to go print pictures at your local uh, picture place. Bam. You can use that cord for that. 
And here's the other part of the charger that plugs into the wall. Looks like it's a two-piece unit. It's kind of odd. I've never seen anything like that before. But there it is. Let's see. We will go ahead and open that up. And I'm sure those two connect together. Okay, so there's that. And now, last but not least, the camera itself. The very star of the show. <laughs> there it is. It's the Kodak. Pix Pro, okay, looks very, very nice, it's got a shutter in there and all that good stuff. Let's see how you turn this bad baby on, there's the power button. Let's get a look around it first. Those of you that are thinking you might want to get something like that. That'd be a pretty good camera if you got, you know, days of adventure that you like to go and do stuff. Well, let's turn it on. Okay, here it is. Just powered it up right there. Bam. Oh, wait a minute. You have to put the battery in it first. That's right. It doesn't have the battery in. Hum. And you know what? I'm not really sure I know how to put the battery in there yet. I probably have to figure that part out. I could read the instructions, but that's going to put me in a spot with having to hold this camera here, do this review, and go and do all that. So I'm not really quite sure. I might have to get back on that to y'all here in a bit so I'm not sure I know how to do that yet let's, what is that let's see let me open this little spot here this could be it we open that and then bam okay it looks like that's where the, the battery goes so bam I think we're in business let's go ahead and insert the battery into the camera it looks like it only fits one way so there it is we'll go ahead and slide it into the slot bam we have we now have battery power. So let's go ahead and turn this camera on and see what you get. See how much bang for your buck is happening here. Woo! That sounded beautiful. Look at that little shutter just done popped out on it. Let's see what kind of camera quality we get. Well, the screen looks pretty clear. It's got a bunch of different language choices. So you can pick you know your language i guess and that's the select button is this a touch screen is this a touch screen camera no you have to use the controls to to go through what you want okay so let's go to english bam okay ymdi okay you can set the date and time and all that stuff let's get to the real nitty-gritty of it how does it look for taking pictures oh there it is okay so as you can see this camera looks like it has good quality. Let's get a look and see what we got here. Oh, there's my trusty guitar. We'll be using that for a gig this weekend. Bam. There it is. It's all happening. It's got good quality here. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are considering on buying the PixPro FZ152 camera, I think I would recommend it and start you out on your new viewing video adventures and as always please subscribe to my youtube channel post the like in the comments or comment on it let me know what you think and as for what we got here i'm going to be signing out this is matt trujillo with mr matt music melody on my youtube channel here and um if anybody ain't told you thanks for watching their channel well then i tell you thanks for watching mine appreciate it have a good evening bye